<laughs> so you think the shortages are bad now? <laughs> well, it's about to get worse. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 35% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Have you been suffering from GPU shortages for over an entire year and are looking for some sort of relief? Well, too bad, because it looks like at least when it comes to some components, the shortages are actually, in fact, gonna get worse. Now, what exactly am I talking about? Are we talking about GPUs here? Well, kind of yes and no, because yes, over the holiday season, I do expect GPU shortages to actually get worse. I do think you're gonna see availability get worse as well as demand from gamers and potentially even miners as well actually get a little bit higher, leading to much higher prices as well. It could potentially improve in 2022, but I don't necessarily have that answer. But what I am going to talk about today and where things could potentially get even worse in a way that you maybe weren't even expecting is the CPU situation because for a little while, their Ryzen CPUs were pretty hard to get, but you know what? Uh, for the last couple, you know, two, three, four months here, they actually haven't been too hard to get and you have been able to get your hands on a Ryzen processor, whether it be like Ryzen, Ryzen 3 all the way up to Ryzen 9 with no issue whatsoever, but that might actually change as it looks like a new cryptocurrency that relies on CPU performance and also relies heavily on the amount of cash available in the CPU, which of course Ryzen has lots of, and especially the 3 dv cache Ryzen chips coming out early next year are also going to have even more of. Uh, well, yeah, it relies on that uh, quite a bit and you can actually make quite a bit of money if you use a Ryzen processor right now, meaning that yes, there could potentially be a shortage of Ryzen processors in the future as well, and maybe even Intel, but probably not because I think they're going to be able to produce enough where it won't be too much of an issue. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'll read you guys what the whole deal is here, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So according to Tom's Hardware, quote, according to a recent report from Bitcoin Press, the new Raptorium RTM crypto has the potential to create a shortage of AMD Ryzen processors if enough cryptocurrency miners jump on the bandwagon. Unlike other cryptocurrencies that you can mine with graphics cards or ASICs, Raptorium favors processors, especially those with huge caches such as Ryzen, Threadripper, or Epic chips from AMD that tend to rank high on our list of CPU benchmarks and best CPUs for gaming. They then go on to say, quote, based on the information from the Raptorium Mining Profitability Calculator, the Ryzen 9 50 5950X and Ryzen 9 5900X offer up to 4,247 hashes per second and 3,557 hashes per second, respectively. The first could net you 205 Raptorium a day, while the latter delivers up to 172. At 0.0220255 per Raptorium and utilizing an energy cost of 12 cents per kilowatt hour, a Ryzen 9 5950X makes around $4.16 a day, while a Ryzen 9 5900X puts in a respectable $3.43. So yeah, that's definitely nothing to sneeze at. I mean, when you're talking about over $4 a day, I know it doesn't really sound like much, but after 10 days, that's over $40. After 100 days, that's over $400. You're gonna pay off that CPU relatively quickly. And if there are, you know, cheap motherboards available that you can pair with these, yes, you might see people start to, you know, hoard these things and start mining this at a, you know, significantly higher rate than what you're seeing right now, which could lead to once again, some shortages in the CPU realm, which of course is not good for gamers because it seems like there's just no rest for the weary. It seems like every single other week gamers continue to get hammered with yet another piece of bad news when it comes to buying their favorite parts to just simply build a PC to play games. So yeah, this is definitely unfortunate to hear. However, I don't think this will be nearly as bad as anything like Ethereum as Ethereum, you know, it scales with graphics cards very, very easily. You're able to just, you know, buy 10, 20, 100, 1,000, 10,000, a million graphics cards and just line them all up and you can just go ahead and mine on them whereas with CPUs you do have to buy a motherboard and with the uh, non-epic processors you can't just simply put two 
three or four in a motherboard. So you're going to have to buy multiple motherboards, which is going to increase the time to you actually making that profit back. So I don't think it'll be nearly as bad. However, I do think this is going to take off to some degree simply because if this does continue to become worth more and more money, people may be trying to bank on trying to mine a lot of it right now so that in the future, if it's worth more money, which of course I have no idea whether or not it will. Uh, however, a lot of people like to play the long game and try and bet on it. Um, you know, different cryptocurrencies becoming worth more in the long run. They might try and mine a lot right now so that later on they end up making a lot more than $4 a day. Let's say that like, for example, it doubled, tripled or quadrupled in price. Let's say it quadrupled in price. Well, instead of making $4 a day off of a CPU, you'll be making $16 a day off of a single CPU, which is a lot of money. Now, is that something that's actually going to occur? I don't really have the answer to that. However, this is kind of the process that people get into that, you know, their, their line of thinking when they start to mine these different, you know, various types of cryptocurrencies. So this is why I do believe this could actually have a negative effect on the supply of CPUs and to make matters even worse, you know, with 3D cash rising, it's probably going to get even more profitable. And this is going to cut into their seven nanometer supply, which right now they are producing everything that they make on seven nanometer, whether it be from their Epic processors to their, you know, Ryzen CPUs to their GPUs all the way to the consoles. Everything is being produced on seven nanometers, which means that yes, any amount of additional strain being put on any of those processes is going to affect their entire product lineup in a negative way to some degree. So yes, this is definitely not good to hear. I don't think it'll be like a disaster level event such as Ethereum, uh, but I do think it is going to make things just that little bit extra annoying, that little bit extra worse. And unfortunately, if you're thinking about buying a CPU, it might be a good idea. It might be a good idea to pull the trigger right now if you're thinking about buying it. You know, sometime within now to the next month, if you're going to buy one. Anyway, maybe think about buying it now just in case because yes, there is a possibility that this could make prices get just that little bit worse or at least delay the amount of time it takes for the prices to drop down. So of course, if you do want to go ahead and buy one, I will have links in the description below to all the various different Ryzen processors so that if you were going to buy one anyway, uh, you can just go ahead and do it right now. But that being said, if you weren't going to buy a processor anytime soon, I wouldn't go ahead and just start panic buying things right now because there is a chance this couldn't have too much of a big impact or uh, if it does have an impact by the time you are thinking about buying a processor, it could actually be you know completely resolved by then so I don't want to you know get you guys in, in a complete panic going buying uh, things that you don't need but again if you're already thinking about it might not be a bad idea but hey that's just what I think do you think that CPUs are gonna be the next thing that you can't even buy or do you think this isn't gonna be too much of an issue let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so AMD and Nvidia get more stock also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.